Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is brought to you by Reeve and Jones and Mighty Fun. They've both got dot-com sites, and the game is called Telepathy. Telepathy is a two-player game or a two-team game in which you're going to be trying to deduce what your opponent has. And the way you're going to be doing that is by utilizing this big board here that's going to have a bunch of different colors, shapes, and rows. And you're going to be trying to figure out what they have utilizing this board. You'll also have your own unique board that is going to allow you to write down uh, what your row, column, your shape, and your color are as well while they're trying to deduce what you have. The player who is able to guess correctly first what their opponent has in all of the different categories is going to win the game. If you guess incorrectly, much like a game like Clue, you're going to instantly lose and you're going to be asking questions back and forth uh, and players are going to be giving, giving yes and no answers to those questions with these erasable markers so the game is infinitely replayable up to the point where you need to buy new markers. Overall, let's go ahead and take a look at the components and everything get in the game. So here we have the game Telepathy and everything that comes with it. Of course, you're going to get a rule book and the box, which has got a nice little front and back showing off the game. And then you're going to get two of these boards here. These boards are going to have uh, t uh, uh, A through R, 1 through 18 as far as the columns and rows go. And all the different little spots here. You're also going to have a little spot up here, which you're going to be trying to deduce your opponent's uh, colors and their uh, different... Oh, what you call them, so the shapes and whatnot. And over here are your hidden answers here. At the beginning of the game, you're going to write your row and your column down. You're also going to have all these different symbols here and the different colors. So at the beginning of the game, everybody's going to go ahead and have their own board, which is secret, and their own... Uh, panel here, which actually stands up too, which is kind of a nice little touch to it. And they're going to go ahead and select. So for this player, maybe he's going to select this one here. So he'd go ahead and write down uh, N and 10. So he'd write N and 10. And this player is secretly going to look on their board and they're going to go ahead and write maybe J and 5. J and 5. And remember also when you have, so for instance, N and uh, 10, Go ahead and look there. It's going to be a moon, so you can go ahead and circle that for, as a reminder. And it's also purple, so you can go ahead and circle that as a reminder. And then J and 5. J and 5, that's going to be this little lightning bolt here, and it is orange. So they're going to go ahead and circle their bolt and orange. After that, the player is going to start. Just go ahead and choose whoever want to go first. And they're going to go ahead and say something, uh, say a spot on the board, anywhere they want. So for instance, this player is looking for this player. So he'll say, how about, oh, I don't know. We'll go with something simple, like A1. And then this player is then going to say, okay, does A1 share anything in common with these four different categories? Is it uh, orange? It's not orange. Okay. Is it a bolt? It is a bolt. Is it in row J or in row five, or column five? No and no. But because one of those was a yes, then they will tell me, this player, yes. So for this player, this player, if this player was, if it was their board, they would go ahead and circle this to remind them that this space was a yes, that this space does in fact have one of these different categories as a yes. Now, it might not have um, all of them, or it might have more than one, but at least one of them is a yes. Then the next player is going to go ahead and look at their board, and they're going to try and deduce as well. And they'll say, okay, how about uh, J11 here? Uh, J11. Let's go ahead and mark that as a reminder. Okay, it's not in row N. It's not in, It's not 11. It's, it's not 10. It's 11. Uh, and it's not a moon, but it is purple. So yes. So, so yes, that is. And then, of course, the next player is going to go back, and now they're going to get another chance. So they know this is a yes. Let's go ahead and try and do something. Let's go ahead and try B and 1. So B1 this time. And it's not J5, it's not a bolt, and it's not orange. So that is a no. So this player is gonna that player's gonna say no. So you go ahead and cross that off. It is not pink. It is also not a hand, and then it's of course not going to be in this uh, column here or this row. So now uh, we also know that this is not the space as well. So uh, it could be blue. And it could be uh, this row here, and it could be a bolt, but it is definitely not pink, and it's definitely not a hand. So now we're getting somewhere, right? And the next player is going to get to go as well. And the game is just going to continue as you try to deduce what space your opponent has. When you think you know, or just before you think your opponent might guess, you can go for an accusation and say, okay, I think you are in fact J5, uh, the orange lightning bolt. And if, of course, uh, that player does have that, it, it is that space, then you are the winner. However, if you say, oh, I think you are in fact, oh, let's go with something else, like, uh, oh, uh, M17, 
uh, the silver lightning bolt, and the player said no, you would instantly lose the game. And that's basically the idea of how to play the game telepathy, going back and forth, trying to figure out what space your opponent has. Uh, and uh, you can just go ahead and restart and replay again. There's also the team mode, which you have two players on each team trying to deduce together what their opponents have. When the game's done, you simply erase your board and uh, everything on both of your boards and go ahead and play the game again. All right, let's go up and talk about the game and what I think of it. So what do I think about the game Telepathy? Well, when I originally played this game, it was quite a while ago, before I got into really heavy board gaming, and uh, it was also for two to four players. I don't mean the way this game is, where in fact this one is two players or two teams of two players, which I guess would be still two to four. But in fact, everybody got their own board and everybody was able to ask questions circular until somebody got it right. And there was a couple other different interesting aspects to that one. This one's kind of bringing it more down to head to head. It also reduces on the components, but increases in the quality, in fact, by adding in these as opposed to just simply having two spaces on the board where you could write down your opponent and yours, which is a nicer thing to me. In fact, uh, the only thing you have to do if you want to play four players individually in this game is use the older uh, rules to the game and buy two copies of this. But that's cool though, because you'll still get all the high quality components that come with this. The markers are of nice quality and they do work well. The different little uh, cloths are microfiber and they are nice as well. Uh, the thickness and uh, style of all these, these are nice and thick and sturdy, which is good. The box is high quality. So overall components components and quality is nice. The artwork is fine for exactly what I expected this game to be. It's got shapes and symbols and a few different little pieces of artwork here and there, so I'm not going to judge it too harshly or give it any uh, positives for the art either way. The game is a guessing abstract game, much like Battleship. Battleship is a fine game, and actually one of the better ones for its time back then, and the way you're going to be playing back and forth, and there's some deduction and strategy in it, a lot more strategy than most of those games back then. This kind of puts that game and gives it even more life, in my opinion, because it makes it quick, it makes it satisfactory when you win, and adds a little bit of, of gambling as to how far you want to risk guessing different spots, and the more you play, the better you get with this. I really enjoy telepathy and everybody I've played with also seems to enjoy it as well. It's quick, very, very quick and very, very easy to teach and to, uh, and to learn. The team variant is okay, but I would probably suggest buying two copies of the game and playing it four players if you really wanted to do that, giving more players autonomy as opposed to with people whispering back and forth. Uh, there's not a huge amount of negatives I can say about this game, except for maybe one, and that is if you do not hear or are not paying attention to your opponent when they ask you a question, or in fact you do answer yes when you should answer no, or vice versa, the game is going to fail. It will not work, and the player that originally thought you said no, when in fact you said yes, is going to not win the game. And that can be very detrimental to the game, because you're almost guaranteed to lose in that case. However, because they're so quick, I mean, we played probably, when we first pulled this game out, we probably played like eight to ten times with a various number of anywhere from four or five different people. And that probably happened once, maybe twice, in fact, it happened over the course of that playing session. And that can be slightly annoying when you basically have lost due to the fact that you did not hear or you, in fact, uh, were told the, 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 wrong, the wrong statement, a yes or a no. And then it can lead to some some arguments, or you didn't say that, are you supposed to say that, or I know I heard you say that, and so that kind of gets, gets at you a little bit. But as the game stands, provided you play it correctly and you hear correctly, you're going to have a good time with this game. It's going to be quick, it's going to be fun. It does require a little more table uh, presence or a little bit more. You can't just simply play on the couch like I used to with this game because now you have this little thing here. I suppose you have to like hide it face down and look at it back and forth to remember. Um, so this is kind of a, a bonus and a negative depending on if you want to play on the go. But you know, otherwise, in general, you'll just be taking this board here and utilizing this pen here and you can go ahead and mark on it and play pretty much anywhere you want. So I really enjoy this game. I've always enjoyed this game. They made this game better in my opinion due to the quality of the components and the style of it and it hasn't lost any of its enjoyment over playing with it over the course of the years. So I'm happy to say that Telepathy is a really fun guessing game. If this is the type of game you're going to be interested in, I would definitely suggest checking it out, especially for little kids. I think this is going to be a nice educational kind of game to get their mind running and working, trying to do certain things and remembering certain things. This is definitely one of those I would play with my kids, provided I had any kids, but a fun game nonetheless. Definitely check out Telepathy. They did an excellent job with this new rendition of it. I'm happy to say that it is great.